All right, welcome back to the Caleb Marshall channel. First, before we get into any introductions, make sure that you like this video, subscribe Someone to this channel. Right into it. Why would we not? <laughs> you, you gotta guide me into this. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, turn on those notifications so that you get notified whenever we post a new, new video. <laughs> Today I have my business partner with me, Cameron Moody. We've been business partners for three years as of last week. Hold on. Okay, you blow it. I didn't make a wish. So today we're gonna do a recipe for you guys. We wanted to make something that was very simple and like stupid simple. So like, cause here's the thing, not stupid simple. Some people just like literally don't know what to do in the kitchen. Like my friend Rob, I was like, why he always buys rotisserie chicken? And I'm like, why don't you just grill a turkey for a chicken breast? And he's like, I just, it's too much. Like, I, I can't just, I can't grill a chicken breast. So I thought, why don't we do a recipe that is very common that everyone goes out to eat and pays a lot of money for that you can make at home so easy? And that is chicken fajitas and guacamole. Chicken fajitas and guacamole. So we're gonna make this all at home for you. Most of you are like, I mean, it's pretty easy. But just in case you don't know how to make chicken fajitas and guacamole, I'm gonna show you how to do it without going to your local Cabo Wabo. And the fun thing about today is we're gonna be using products that we actually use. We get all of our yummy ingredients, our yummy vegetables from this company called Imperfect Produce. And what that means is they send you vegetables first well, to your door. It's like overstock vegetables and sometimes like misshapen vegetables, but they're literally like, look at this pepper. It's just overstock, like it's fine. Now, hold on, now it's brother. Onion. It's brother Pepper actually was misshapen, but he still, mm -hmm. <laughs> you could still do a lot with him, okay? But we just think he's cute to look at. You ready to see your brothers get eaten? Yeah. You're gonna watch your brother get chopped up right here. So to start this video, we are going to, oh, wow, samurai cam. We're gonna start literally just, you all have to cook this in one pan. It is so fast and easy. We're gonna do the guac first because I love to like munch on the guac while I'm actually, you know, cooking. The fajitas. Uh, so all you need to do. Okay, what? Can I ask why I'm here? Oh, you're not talking. <laughs> no, you're not. Can I ask why? Because <laughs> you said let's make a couple's cooking video. <laughs> so that's you why abruptly you're here. started, and you won't shut your <laughs> mouth. Okay, so Cameron's gonna take us through the avocado making process. So you just cut the outer edges of the avocado like this. You don't really want to use this big of a knife and cut yourself because a lot of people have been cutting themselves on avocados. Really? So then take it apart. Yeah. You have this guy in the middle, which is the seed. You want to get rid of that. Whenever I'm making guac, the easiest way, instead of carving it out with a spoon or like... <laughs> I just got a spoon out. Or trying to peel off the skin, you just want to grab it here in the middle and just pop him out like this. And then he just falls right out into the bowl. Voila. And you have a clean little avocado shell. There's only two little pieces here. So this one, Caleb tried to peel from the sides. That's a big no-no because now you're gonna get little chunks of the skin. So same thing, just gonna squeeze her right in. And Beautiful. to get the core out, you can just like tap it with a knife and just like rock it back and forth and then... Now, using the knife is unsafe kitchen practices. So... <laughs> 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 you just squeeze it like this? So typically, I'll just pop her right out oh. with my hand. Just squeeze it right out. You're right, because now getting it off that knife is going to be really hard, and you're probably going to bang it against your trash can and break it. <laughs> so this is the guac. Oh! This is the guac mix right here. How green does that look, everybody? So now I like to mash up the avocado before I add anything else in there because. You can't mash the avocado with a bunch of stuff in there. So you're just gonna take a regular fork. So then you're just gonna mash. Oh! So now Caleb, you go ahead and do that. Set it down though, because I don't trust you, like I trust myself. And then you wanna put in a red vine tomato and some onion. So we're gonna use this onion for the fajitas, so we don't wanna use all of it. I'm gonna cut that right off. I don't use that, some people do. And then I just cut the tomato into slices. And if you see how my hand is positioned, I don't have my fingers out, I have them in. So if I cut myself, it's not gonna be that bad. 
food safety with Cameron. So, um, as you can see, there's no real right or wrong way to mash this. You just mash it until it's you're the consistency you want. Like, I like my avocado a little bit chunky. So I have some chunks left in it. And then you just want to cut the tomatoes into little itty bitty squares. Little itty bitty squares. Just drop that on in there. All right, so when you're cutting this onion, what I do is I, um, actually my old- We cut onions very different. Yeah, we do. So my old friend who did a lot of cooking, my old long lost friend, um, taught me how to do this and I think I still do it right. So you cut off the pointy kind of end. You so that's what Caleb does. What I do is I hate the middle of the onion unless it's in a hamburger. You cut around it, right? I cut around, like, okay. edges. I'll do that. So I do that, cut, and then I go to the, no, 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 no. The complete other side, that do that, cut. There. See, now look, it's beautiful inside of an onion. And now you're gonna just chop right down the sides. So now you don't have any of that nasty, like, inside. And then we'll put this in the compost. In my guac, I love using fresh lime. Some people will just get lime juice. But these came with our Imperfect Produce box. What's great is I only use half of the lime, so the other half of this lime is gonna be used for Corona. So, um, oh, we're doing that tonight. So the outer parts of the onion, you can use for the guac, because we don't need to like overwhelm it with onion. Um, you probably don't even need to use both sides, but um, you're just gonna take the onions and you're just gonna chop. You wanna finely chop them. You're gonna mince them, so I'm gonna cut them. You know what, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm gonna level with you, I don't cut this stuff evenly at all. I'm really lazy about it. With a lime, squeezing it by hand is not easy at all because you have to put a lot of force in and you usually don't get all the lime juice. It's a little kitchen hack. I like to take a can opener, just like a little cheap one. I think we got this from TJ Maxx maybe. And then you put the lime inside between the two little grooves, put her in there and then Squeeze and look at that juice just come right on down. Um, with the rest of this onion that we're gonna use for the fajitas, we are just gonna go ahead and peel off the outer layer because um, my friend Scratch. actually taught me, yeah, you just like the outer layer is kind of like grody. When you're cutting these onions, you're gonna do them, they, I like them big, but they're up to your preference. So I just literally do one slice horizontally along it. Juice, what are you doing? The number one hack in cooking is to actually use seasoning. And I don't mean just salt and pepper. That's a big misconception in cooking is if I put salt and pepper, it's gonna taste great. No, you need to use all the seasoning. So just normal pepper. So I use garlic salt. I don't really like to use regular salt in the guac. Throw some on top. And then I like a little bit of spice. So I'm gonna put some um, red chili pepper crushed in there. For the veggies for the fajitas, um, I'm just cutting the ends off the potatoes and like the little gross parts. I don't know if you need to or not, it just kind of freaks me out. Uh, I'm just gonna cut the potatoes up into tiny pieces. So just slice them out. <sighs> All right, so we have the potatoes, onions cut up first. So we're gonna cook those while everything else is going on. So a little bit of olive oil. About a tablespoon. And then we're gonna put this on medium heat. Medium heat. And just let this start to sizzle. Here's the finished guac. How good does she look? And you know what I love to eat my guac with? Siete tortilla, ch or tortilla chips, because I try to eat as grain-free as possible in the evenings. And so these are grain-free chips and they're really good. We also are gonna be using siete tortillas because they're grain-free and they're really, actually really good because I didn't want to go grain free at all because I love it, like a nice tortilla. But these I actually like and will eat. I won't do like the chia ones, but I love every other one. Something that <clears throat> you want to add first, like usually you'll add it with the olive oil to let it kind of like sizzle up and cook into your vegetables. It's a nice minced garlic. I just bought this really big one from Ralph's because mincing your own garlic is a lot of work. I've never been in a situation where I'm like, yeah, I would rather mince my own garlic than use the one in the bottle. Oh, so we're gonna season this uh, real quick. I'll go ahead and move this camera. What are you doing with that one? I'm gonna put it up on the counter. Okay, so I'm using pepper, and then I love using seasoning salt as well. And then we'll season it more once we add everything else in. Okay, so um, it stopped recording. So, welcome uh, back from that commercial break. We are back here now. 
Um, while we were on commercial, we cut the chicken for you. Went ahead and, you know, took that step. We also already cut the peppers up and threw them in there. So, just the biggest thing about cutting the peppers is just cutting the top off, and then you cut the peppers on the little gro Oh, wait. You cut the peppers on these little grooves down here, so you can just easily slice the veins out. You just don't want like the white veins inside to be in your pepper. So um, with this chicken, we actually got it from ButcherBox. Um, so if you don't know who they are or what they are, um, ButcherBox is like a meat subscription service. You can get it every one to two months. You pick that whenever you sign up. Um, if you go to butcherbox.com slash the fitness module, you get $20 off your first order, free bacon and free shipping, which is really cool because you literally don't even have to leave your house. It comes delivered to you on dry ice. We do the custom box, but I think boxes start at like 119. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's really super cheap and affordable and really easy as well. Um, all right, so we'll throw this chicken so in. Usually what I like to do when I'm adding a chicken, I scoot all the vegetables to one side because they've been cooking for a while. They've had their, you know, limelight. And then I'm gonna add some olive oil and just lightly sprinkle it on around where the chicken is going to be. And then I'm gonna slide that right on over it. Sizzle, sizzle, pop, pop. Season her up, daddy. Don't forget them seasonings. Some seasoning salt because, mmm, girl. Garlic, garlic. I don't know if you can see my wine glass says sip me baby one more time. You can get it at Amazon at the link below. No, you can't. That's too many f***ing links. I'll then find it. Search for it. Search right. right and left. Touch your sexy shoulders and pot that dog. Jeez. Like we just got him the farmer's dog and it, he's like, he's living a good life. He literally has real food and Sometimes when I get super hungry, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna eat this because it's literally turkey, like ground up turkey in here. Carrots, spinach, chickpeas. I mean, I don't even know what all is in here, but this literally looks like something that we would make and eat. So for these tortillas, you can just put like a paper towel in between them to separate them. And then I'll put them each in like individually for 15 seconds just to heat them up. Like you don't have to like heat them on the skillet or do anything like that. They're still moist and fine. Options for like dressing your chicken. I make a bomb cashew cheese. So no, I'm gonna eat listen. This. He makes this I'm bomb gonna cashew do a cheese. Separate, I hate it. I'm gonna do separate video I, with Haley because she appreciates it. And it's, we're gonna have sour cream. Cameron eats dairy, so we're gonna have dairy for him. And then I'm gonna eat tofu you need to get sour my, cream. Um, Cameron loves parmela cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, it's his favorite I don't, like, vegan cheese. But this one you can only buy online in like a lot of states. They only have it in like a few Whole Foods like in LA. I love this almond cheese. It's so good. It does have milk protein, but oh my gosh. Siete also came out with hot sauces, like this Chipotle one. Um, so I love putting that on my taco, so i that out. Side note, while this is finishing up cooking, Cameron and I love to watch like shows and we're eating. Mm -hmm. And the show that we just binged for like two weeks was It shit. wasn't even two weeks. We literally finished four seasons in like a week. S-C-H-I-T-T-S. And it is starring uh, Eugene Levy, Daniel Levy, and um, Catherine O'Hara. O'Hara. Um, she is- And Francis. So funny and they're like 20 minute episodes the first three seasons are on netflix we bought the fourth because we could not wait for it to be on netflix it's like a canadian show but it is it's amazing it's like a canadian show but it's so amazing not i kind of know and not to shape canada it's just like not an american show so cameron has been obsessed with cooking shows on netflix like nailed it and sugar rush they're not cooking shows they're baking shows amateur he likes to lay on me when we chill. Baby, are you serious? Hello, Bubba Bear. It's your teddy bear, Bubby. Mm -hmm. My gosh. Cuddling. You are so freaking precious. We gave him a bath today. You smell? Like a puppy, like a new puppy. So this is what the tortillas should be looking like when they are done. Nice and brown. The tortillas? Or the chicken, sorry. Chickens. I need a guy. Finish the lyrics. Do who knows me no. better to love me better than all the brothers mm -hmm. do. I'm just gonna put some sour cream on the bottom of my tortilla. 
Oh, oh. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about PSA tortillas is they break apart really easily. But it's worth it. Chevy too, that's like a NASCAR pit stuff. Some guacamole. 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 Well, this is my finished plate. These are the tacos. But thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, hit that subscribe button. Follow Caleb at The Fitness Marshall on Instagram. Follow me at Cameron Moody on Instagram. Like all of my pictures, leave comments, and send us money to our P.O. Box. PayPal.me dash Cam Moody.